Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Antics and Goose Show. I'm Fancy Antics. And I'm Trap Goose Gaming. We're back once again. Uh, this time we're doing a uh, quick reaction and uh, review discussion for the uh, newly released uh, trailer for Spider-Man uh, No Way Home, as it's called. Uh, probably the biggest uh, trailer we've gotten so far from this, more than a teaser of any kind. So uh, going to react to that. It's my first time seeing it. Uh, I've not watched it at all yet. Uh, this will be Trap's uh, second time watching it. Uh, so you'll have more insight on that. Maybe pick us on some things you did before. We'll chat about it. Yeah, I'm, I I was super excited. So like I said, it's the second time you watching it. When it came out, I was streaming. And instantly we stopped playing. Hmm. We opened up the trailer and watched it on stream. And everyone freaked the hell out. And obviously, it's, I actually heard the rumor that it wasn't going to have a trailer. Because of how many like spoilers could potentially happen with having multiverse. Yeah. So I heard that I was like, this is stupid. I'm like, why is there not gonna be a trailer? But then that then they, they tricked us. Yeah, and then they did. So kinda glad they did actually. Anyway, I'm excited to see this shit finally. Okay. Um so we'll get right into it and then we'll give you guys a quick little reaction after. Um but make sure before we start it that you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social Jeez. medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Um, and just let us know what you guys want us to react to or talk about or, you know, listen to or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Sounds, yeah, that would be great, guys. I always appreciate you. That's what we're here for is to uh, cater to your, whatever you guys want us to react to. So let us know. Okay, and let's get right into this. Three, oh, two, one. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers are the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Quick edit. Colt, Colt, it's coming through in your microphone. Okay, you want to restart it then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I forgot to turn that down. Was it any of that coming through the entire time? Because I totally forgot my other voices. It usually doesn't pick it up. I don't think so. I didn't hear myself, but I heard the trailer when you started playing it. Just go, just edit it to like the 3, 2, 1, and then we'll just hit the play button. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability spider to minions. hypnotize females. Weird. Stop, come on. The yes, piano in the background there. <laughs> Can we just, like, stay up all theme. day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. Listen, I did not Wait, kill Mysterio. That... The drones did. The yeah. Drones that are that are it was an awesome... Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody uh, knows you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all mm. of this. So, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm uh, sorry to bother sweet. you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. Right, right? Maybe We're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Stephen. <laughs> that feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> when Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. New black I was suit. Wondering if maybe you could yeah. make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna Dangerous. forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned. He's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really know. Stop talking. <laughs> Fuck up this fucking multiverse, yeah. you son of a bitch. Yeah. What is the time to Loki at all? With the stability of space time, the multiverse it is might. a concept about which we know frighteningly little. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> What? That's William Defoe's laugh. Be careful that is. what you wish for, Parker. 
Dog dog as expected. Hell yeah. Hello, Peter. Makes, it makes sense as the multiverse breakage as to why he's back. Oh my god. I got chills, man. I got chills. Yep, I uh, that's literally, epic. literally that was that like was that not Venom or Carnage as well? Um so okay. On the so, scene right before the pumpkin bomb? Yeah, I think so. Um like see I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna feed into the Sinister Six movie that they're gonna do. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and with that, like so obviously they're bringing out like Sandman, Ven uh probably Venom, Green Goblin. Yeah. Um Doc Ock. You know what I mean? So, um, and, uh, who did Jamie Foxx play in The Amazing Spider-Man? Um, uh, uh, Electro. Yeah. So, he, that's hence why there was a lot of lightning happening. I think that's, he's yeah. gonna be in yeah, it. Yeah, he's supposed to be in it too. Yeah. Um, so now, I've got this weird speculation now. Okay. So okay. when Doc Ock says, hello, Peter, you know, when he, and then they show, like, Tom Holland right away. Yeah. I'm willing to put money on it that they're talking about... Toby Maguire's Spider Man. Right, like they just cut the frames there to, he, to make it, make it yeah, seem like he's not... talking to Tom Holland, but Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Probably probably that. Um there's still no guarantees that he's in it and stuff like that, but apparently uh, Toby Maguire and uh um Andrew Garfield are on set and it's been reported, so yeah. I, I also have an idea that they might actually work in the like, you know, the, the Spider Verse movie, the one with uh like the animated one into the Spider Verse, yeah. yeah. I think they're gonna actually somehow work that into this as well. They could. I mean, it's interesting if they can though, because that's it's entirely Sony's property on that bit, uh, and Sony's picky with that stuff. So if they allow it to come into some capacity into this one within Marvel's universe, well, now, so is this? This is my reasoning, right? So the Sinister Six mm -hmm. is Sony's property as well. But yes, yeah, anything Spider Man related villain wise is supposed to be, yep. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. if they're gonna bring in Sinister Six here. Yeah. So they gave Disney that opportunity to use the Sinister Six to also help promote the Sinister Six movie. I guess. True. And then so they could probably also use the Spider Verse stuff. So yeah. you remember at the around. Yeah, so you remember at the end of Into the Spider Verse where they're in the train? Mm-hmm. And then you've seen that train kind of going all wonky and shit when they're on the train. Hmm. Right? I mean, hmm. I could be completely wrong and just a whack job here, but I Nice think... touch. I like her going with that. Why a train otherwise? Why Why at all? And out in the middle of nowhere, like... Yeah, huh? What's, what's the deal? What's the deal with that? I see. Uh -huh. I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but, like, that trailer itself was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was that was that was awesome. Got chills. The whole Spider Man theme coming through with it, and and they teased like a lot, but also not like they had a really good amount mm -hmm. that they that they released and revealed. Um, but there's still so much more they can like guaranteed villains and stuff like that. Better sh shots. The other two Spider Men, you know, little things like that. Like there's still so many. Like the probably you could release another trailer and everything's gonna it's gonna be just as mind blowing as the one before. Yeah. Because uh, without even still revealing the whole movie, because uh, this is going to be one of the biggest Marvel and Sony properties for sure. When you bring in all this stuff, people love that shit. When you bring in multiple old cast back together and stuff like that, combining heroes with Avengers and stuff, or and they're going to take the yeah, best like things, back. yeah, the best things yeah. from every property and yeah. putting them all together, and it's it's just going to be cool. Um, yeah. did you ever read the Spider-Man comics growing up? Uh, a bit. Um, so, some of them, nothing, nothing regular. Um, kind of did you ever read the, the, the timeline where Spider-Man goes to Mephisto to save Aunt May? No. Okay, so, uh, essentially, like, just the gist of it is Aunt May's dying, and there's no way to save her, so Peter Parker goes to Mephisto and being like, can you save her? And he has to give up, basically, his relationship, his marriage with MJ. Okay. To save Aunt May, mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a little bit of a twist on that storyline. Because of the whole Doctor Strange bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, instead I, of going I, to Mephisto, you're going to a friend. Mm -hmm. And instead of, you know, 
married at or married at May. Jesus, <laughs> weird. Yeah, <geez. laughs> um, and married to Mary Jane. Yeah. Um, they're obviously just in a tight relationship. Mm-hmm. Um. But that was his concern when he was talking to Doctor Strange, right? Like MJ and you know Ned. So which I yeah. can see him becoming a loner in this. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like it's gonna push away everyone that's cared about him and he's gonna potentially hurt the people that he didn't want to hurt, like MJ and Ned and you know what I mean? Yep. Weird speculation, so I'm just crazy. No, I like I, I like your thoughts on this. I language. love I love this version of of Spider Man. I think Tom Holland is the best Spider Man. Uh yeah, I think he's in that spotlight now. Like, like McGuire, but but uh, we'll see the if the yeah, third movie yeah. is is better. Yeah. That's that's the peak right there, right? Spider Man one yeah. and two were really good. The yeah. third one was garbage, yeah. and now we'll see the first two of the, this one were good. Mm-hmm. Third one was garbage. Andrew Garfield, Spider Man. I don't know. I just never liked it. I just couldn't get into it. It was boring. It was dull. Yeah. It just seemed like a cash grab to, for Spider Man. Yeah, it's what I do with Andrew Garfield. Never liked it. it wasn't it was just partly written in every direction, really. Um. So yeah, okay. Um. One thing I wanted to ask too was so like we got villains coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty clear on who's who's there and stuff like that, bringing some back. You have for sure Doc Ock and the Doc Ock of the Spider Man yep. too. Um, you have most likely Green Goblin with Willem Dafoe. Mm-hmm. It's laugh. Um, you wouldn't bring back the Goblin version from Andrew Garfield's era. I fucking hope not. Oh no! And no. like, there's be a terrible idea. Um, and Electro. I think that's. I think they already said that early on that he'll be one of the villains back as Jamie Foxx's Electro. So if, if yep. you take somebody back from his era, he's probably the best choice of it. Um, the Venom though. Do you think that is Tom Hardy's Venom? Because I, I doubt they go Spider-Man 3 Venom. I, I Oh, if they go I, Spider-Man 3 Venom, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, one of yeah, the worst parts true. of that movie is that Venom. So mm-hmm. please don't bring back that Venom. Please, just don't. Just Yeah, Sandman, fine. Good actor, but... Yeah. A good, good character, but uh, not not that Venom. Honestly, the, the things Hardy, that... The Hardy thing Hardy. that ruined that movie was, was the the... The Venom aspect of it. It's it's the fact that Venom took over his suit, not him, and like weirdly enough, like somehow attached himself to him, but was on the yeah, it was just a weird concept. I didn't fuck with it. No, exactly. It was just just exactly the same kind of thing of Topher Topher Grace getting FaceTime as an underguard filled in his Spider Man. Just had to always have the mask off and show his face off and stuff yeah. like that. It's just like that's not no. I don't need that shit. Um and there's other theories I think there too as of today. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that um, Venom 2 got delayed again. Yeah, by a week? No. I don't know if it was a week. I think it's delayed in 2022. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. t- taking the spot of something else. I can't remember. Another Marvel property. Um, but yeah, j- d- ideally, I don't think they said for sure it just got delayed and probably into January 2022. Which might be because the production, of course, and probably is. But also because Spider-Man Homecoming, or, or sorry, Spider-Man Far From No Way Home has been delayed uh, into next year and stuff like that. They're pushing that back too, so I think that might also support some further connections, because if the one released too oh. early, it might put spoilers into what's going to happen without revealing it later. Like, if there's a, a, con- a direct connection in Venom 2 that like goes to uh, No Way Out, No Way Home, you might want that to come out later instead, maybe. Yeah, or- January, it's speculated January 21st, 2022. Yeah. So, so a month after Spider-Man. So that might have a, be a big reason as to why. Wow. Yeah. I Wow. I thought it didn't get delayed that bad. Nope. It's just bit after bit, and then they got a big jump there too, which, I mean, it's fine, I, I guess, if it's a, it's a, t- a release technique to that, or if, you know, you gotta have a, if you can make a better product by it coming out later. Or maybe they've seen the trailer for this, and they're like, shit, we have to make our movie better. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh, God damn it. Yeah. Uh, well, shit, shit. He's the venom in it? You're not supposed to do that yet? Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> and they bring in Topher Grace. That's the Venom. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> they're like, God damn it, we gotta we gotta film some stuff with Tom Hardy now. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, probably exactly that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just excited. I love these Spider-Man movies. Like I said, I'm not even the biggest Spider-Man fan, but yeah. these movies have been great. So oh, I'm super I... super excited for this, and yeah. the Doctor Strange aspect to it. 
fact that they're bringing back like the best characters from ev- all all the Spider-Man movies. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yep, me too. I cannot wait. Oh, uh, just yeah. I'm just gonna keep thinking about this and thinking about how many like possibilities he's coming back, how it's gonna work out, how it's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, do you take some plot points from the animated one? Let's get a legitimate Nicolas Cage noir yeah. Spider-Man, okay? Yeah, I should have at least a little bit. Maybe even if it was just like his voice or something, like a voice clip coming in. in I, some sort dude, of I, I don't, I don't even care. I think they need that as a movie. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Spider-Man noir is pretty cool. Um, but you guys make sure you let us know down below what what you guys think is going to happen, who you think is coming back. Yeah, if you think you we're, we're, we're completely crazy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any other theories and rumors you guys have come across? Come across, you know. Let us know where to check them out and see like that, and we'll chat with you guys about them. Um, there's probably a lot more theories and stuff out there, other comic um, directions, storylines that this could go, that or that it seems to be. Um, little things like that. Um, yeah. Let us know in the comments. Let us know on our social media. Yeah, and I and I think that's going to be that for this reaction video. But yeah, like like we said, let us know. Uh, we appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button, and and share this on all social media platforms. And make sure you tag us in it, and uh, we'll make sure we follow you back and communicate with you. Gotcha, guys. Thank you.